Now after that, one more question. It's a very important question, and so many times this question has to be asked in the examination paper. It is given x plus i y is to the power one by three is equal to u plus i b. Maybe some variable has to be changed. It is u plus i b. Maybe a plus i b is given. So it depend upon the framing of the question only how to frame. It's only the game of variables. So x plus i y is to the power one by three is equal to u plus i b is given, and the question saying prove that. Prove that x upon u, x upon u plus y upon v is equal to four times of u square minus v square. This is given. X upon u plus y upon v is equal to four times of u square minus v square is given. So now, please pay attention. This is a question. So first of all, you will see this power is one by three is given. It will shift it this side. X plus i y. It is u plus i v is to the power three. It will shift it like this. Then, since one by three we cannot expand. When one by three shifted this side, become power is three. Now x plus i y as it is, it will be open a plus b whole cube. It become u cube plus i cube v cube plus three u i v within a bracket u plus i v a cube plus b cube plus three a b a plus b. Now x plus i y as it is, it's u cube i cube. You know minus i it is minus i v cube. This three u v multiply become three u square v i. Plus three u v square i square x plus i y u cube minus i v cube plus three u square v i. As you know, i square is minus one. That is minus three u v square. After simplifying, then you will see this is a complex number. It is also a complex number. This is a real part. This is a real part. This is imaginary part. This is imaginary part. So we can write the expression in such a manner so that real and real together and com imaginary and imaginary is together. So it can be write like u cube minus three u v square. Keep in bracket like this. So it's representing the real part only because not containing any i. It is i v cube plus three u v i. So in this case, if we take i is common, so it becomes three u square v minus v cube. After writing in this way, you will see this is real part and this is imaginary part. Then same thing, comparing the coefficient both side. So x is equal to u cube minus three u v square. This is equation number one, and y is equal to three u square v minus v cube. So again, I repeat, the question is given. This is shifted this side, expanding, and after expanding, writing in such a way, real. Is in the bracket and imaginary is another bracket. Then comparing the coefficient x, it's the real part like this, and y, the coefficient of i is y. Here, the coefficient of i is this. That is why y, y is equal to this. Since in the proving part, you will see it is equation number two. So when we take from equation one, from equation one, x is equal to in this case u cube and u v. So when we take u is common, so it become u square minus three v square, and x upon u, u shifted the side, it is u square minus three v square. Again from equation two, same manner, y is equal to in this case we will take common, it's three u square minus v square. So y upon v is three u square minus v square. Now adding both expression, so x upon u plus y upon v is equal to u square minus three v square plus three u square minus v square. So u square and three u square become four u square minus four v square. Four will take common u square minus v square. So this is the. Proving part of this question, an important and a good question. Do it so many times, you can. learn the step to understand how to solve 
Sometimes the variable is changed. Suppose it is written a plus i b. The proving is x upon a, y upon b is equal to four times of a square minus b square. In the same way, there are so many questions given. Now, after that, a topic is going to be discussed today, and that is square root of complex number. Square root of complex number. It is a sub topic in the complex number is given. That is square root of complex number. Square root of complex number. A complex number is given, and the question is saying find the square root. Find the square root of complex number. So suppose a question is seven plus twenty four i is given. Let us take a question is given. Find the find the square root of seven seven plus twenty four i. This is a question. It's an easy question. So square root means this is a complex number. When we find a square root of complex number, it definitely is complex number. So let us take this is equal to x plus i y. Let since we are finding the square root of this, it is equal to x plus i y. Then since it contain the square root sign, at this only this expression is given. You can think how to solve. If the square root is x plus i y, it means we have to solve to find the value of x and y. Then put it to get the square root. In this case, squaring both sides. The pattern is squaring both sides. So whenever the question is saying find the square root of any complex number, writing in this square root form is equal to taking x plus i y. Maybe you can take a plus i b. Then squaring both sides, so it becomes seven plus twenty four i. It becomes x plus i y whole square. So seven plus twenty four i. It will be expand x square i square y square plus two x y i. 7 plus 24i, you know i square minus 1 plus 2xy. After simplifying again the same concept, most of the question in the same pattern, solving and then comparing both sides. So here it is a real part. It is a real part not containing any i. So x square minus y square is equal to 7. Equation one on comparing the coefficient both sides. I coefficient 2xy. And i coefficient is twenty four, so x y is equal to twelve. X y is equal to twelve. Then the value of y is twelve upon x. Value of y is twelve by x. This value will substitute in this equation x square minus. In place of y square, you can write twelve by x whole square is equal to seven. So, if further simplify, x square one forty four upon x square is seven. So, x to the power four minus seven x square minus one forty four is equal to zero. So, this forming a quadratic equation. Now, to factorize in such a way that splitting middle term, the factor of one forty four to become seven. So, it can be right. Like factorize one forty four. Start dividing by two two seven two. Again, two three, two six, two eighteen, two nine, three, and this one. So it's two four, two eight, two sixteen, and nine. So it can be right x to the power four minus sixteen x square plus nine x square minus one forty four is zero. Like this. After splitting middle term, writing in this way, then. X square will take common. It is x square minus 16 plus 9 will take common. X square minus 16. So first bracket x square minus 16. X square plus 9 is equal to 0. X square is 16. X is equal to plus minus 4. When we find the square root, we have choose a complex number x plus i y. So x is the real part. So x is value is coming plus minus 4. When we choose this x square. Is equal to under root minus nine. It is three i. It can't be valid because x is real. So only x is equal to plus minus four. Since 
y is equal to 12 by x. So 12 in place of x we can write plus minus 4. So y is equal to plus minus 3. So square root of 7 plus 24i is equal to plus minus. Writing plus minus the value of x is 4 and the value of y is 3i. So this is the way we can find the square root. Since we are finding square root that is why writing plus minus 4 plus 3y. So this is another concept of finding the square root of complex number. Let us take one more question on the same concept to find the square root. Suppose question is given find the square root of minus 8 minus 6i. So it become again x plus i y. Let us take it become x plus i y let. So squaring both side again minus 8 minus 6i it become x plus i y whole square. Minus 8 minus 6i it become x square minus y square plus 2xy i. It is a real part. So x square minus y square is equal to minus 8. And 2xy is equal to minus 6. xy is minus 3. y is equal to minus 3 by x. When we substitute x square it become minus 3 by x. Whole square is minus 8. So x square minus 9 by x square is minus 8. Then x the power 4 plus 8x square minus 9 is equal to 0. Writing in the quadratic form. Then x the power 4 it can be write 9x square minus x square minus 9 is 0. x square plus 9 minus 1 will take common x square plus 9. First bracket x square plus 9. Second bracket x square minus 1 is 0. Again x square is minus 9, x is equal to under root minus 9, it is 3i, not valid, since x is real, so x square minus 1 is 0, so x is equal to plus minus 1, after finding the value of x is, we need the value of y, now here be careful, y is equal to minus 3 by x, so y is equal to y's negative term, 3, x is plus minus 1, so y is equal to minus plus minus 3. So when we substitute the value like this, it is square root of minus 8 minus 6i is equal to x plus i y. Now please pay attention, plus minus. The value of x is 1 since it is positive and the value of itself is negative. So it is minus 3i. It's minus 3i. So this is the way we can find the square root of a complex number. Now in this complex number the two subtopics are left that is cube root unity and locus and the reason to be plot on complex number. These two subtopics are left. So thank you very much for today's class. We will give the worksheet on the whatsapp so that you can solve. Thank you.